Hello and welcome friends. I hope everybody's having a great day so far. If you are new to the channel, welcome and I hope you'll uh, consider sticking around and hitting that subscribe button. And if you're back again, welcome back and I greatly appreciate your continuing support. It means the world to me. So today we have an unboxing. Diamond Art Club. Um, and it is a square. And it is What Lies Beneath by Dakota Detwiller. I hope I said that correctly. Probably didn't. The diamond shape, as I said, was square. The size is a 26 or a 27.6 inch by 34. 7 inch or a 70 centimeter by 88 centimeter so it's a fairly large one um, but this was a kit that when I first discovered um, Diamond Art Club it had been completely sold out and so it had been sitting on my wish list for a long long time um, I think I may have even missed one of the restocks that they had but with this uh, last one they did I was able to um, get it into my cart and have it sent my way before it got sold out again um, so yeah let's break in and see uh, what we have here oh oops apparently I am taking things out on my desk but here is the small sticker with the thumbnail, diamond shape, the size, all of that. These are great for when you store your canvas, whether you put it on the bag, the box, um, whatever your system is. It's great for that. It's great for a log book if you have a smaller log book. So I'll just put that off to the side and we'll check out our toolkit and see what fun, exciting stuff we have. Because it is a square, we will get the uh, Diamond Art Club branded uh, stabby tweezers. It looks like I have a black pen here. The pen is randomized in the kit um, with the squishy as well. It gets randomized in the kit so the colors do change up. Hello. I'm fighting with things here. Um, this one came with their newer white um, tray, which was highly requested by people. And then, of course, we have the heart axe caddy. You get um, two pieces of the glue there. And things just want to come out at their own pace today. <laughs> We have the 4 and 7 multi-placer. The baggies, whether you kit up in them, kit down, or don't use them at all. Okay, and here is our stopper to the tray. And the fun parts now. Here is the washi that came with it. Kind of a almost fall color with the orange and the um, darker kind of orangey red. And a little bit of brown in there, but absolutely. Um, here, let's see, I'm trying to. Absolutely um, adorable, and I just love this cover minder. It is, if you can see it there, the kind of looks like a little bunny or something holding a peach, or maybe it's a dog. Either way, absolutely adorable. I, I love that one. Um, so we'll just put that off to the side for now. And then we'll take a blue at our drills and canvas and all that good stuff. Right there. Um, you have your thank you brochure, bunch of great information, um, bunch of QR codes for discounts are in it, step-by-step -step instructions, all that good stuff. Um, comes in every kit. 
And then here is our larger sticker, which if I bring up, it'll give you a nicer, larger view of the canvas. And then, of course, it's got the canvas name, the artist, you can put your start end date, has your diamond shape, size, all that good stuff. If you have a larger logbook, you can just uh, cut off the DMC stickers and put it in your logbook. And then these are all of your kidding up stickers. Um, they come right off, like they're pre-cut and everything, so they just come right off and you can use them right on your containers. Um, there's 51 colors total for this, and with Diamond Art Club anything above 150 is an AB. So looking here at the sheet, we have five of those. The first five. Um, so that should be quite gorgeous. Um, and then of course you have your drills, which if you store them separately, it does have the uh, artwork name on it already on a sticker, which is great. Um, so let's take a peek here at these drills. So we've got 823 and we have four bags of those. Here's three tens. We've got four, five bags of three tens. 996, you have two bags of those. 120, which is your AB, which I will bring up for a closer. Let's do that here. Bring up for a closer little shimmery view. You have two bags of those, so plenty of blue ABs. $7.75, which is like a pale blue. Got two of those. An eight three three. Three eight four three. You have two bags of those. A three eight four one and a five nine eight. And then you've got your other AB here, which is your white one, 141. And I will bring that up and you can get a nice look at that. There are two bags of those, so lots of those as well. Then we've got our 796, and we've got three, four, five, six bags of those. Then we have 995, which is three bags of that color. An 820, which gives you four bags. 834, and an 823. We have a 598, 3756, which has two bags. A 3811, which is two bags. A 3325, a 799, a 3012. A 38.55, a 5.50, a 1.54, a 3.12, a 3.27, 30.11, 33.71, 9.98, which is kind of like a seafoam green, very gorgeous. A 3.760, a 30.51, a 4.20, and a 38.28. And then, <clears throat> our last little string here has 838, 699, 415, 336, 992. Here's another AB here, 140, which is a lighter um, blue. And hopefully you can kind of see that iridescent coating there. Um, 413, 3755. 890, <clears throat> sorry about that, 935, 938, 318, 414, 
862, 119, which is a purple AB. If you can see that iridescent coating once again. 701, 3814, 209, 728, and our last AB, which is a green, and is 134. Very, very gorgeous. Lots of fun colors. Um, and I think I forgot to mention that uh, AB just means Aurora Borealis, and that is a drill that has the um, iridescent coating and just helps it shine a little brighter and um, kind of highlights and accents certain aspects on the uh, canvas and the artwork. So I'm just going to do a quick roll backwards here. It's pour glue, so it can handle that quite easily. And that'll just help the canvas lay a little flatter, a little easier, so that we can uh, take a peek here at it. And she's fairly large, so I'm not going to be able to fit the whole thing on my um, space at one time. So I'll just have to kind of show you in little parts. But, per usual, our tour, do what makes you sparkle, Diamond Art Club. You'll have your uh, schematics, which have the symbol and DMC code number on your upper left and lower right corners. And then, of course, on the very bottom of the canvas, you have all of your um, licensing information, a small thumbnail, your middle has a discount code and Diamonds Art Club's socials. And then of course their limited, or not limited, their lifetime warranty if you have uh, missing diamonds or anything like that. Um, so here she is. What lies beneath? This is a big octopus and the top of the head kind of just looks like a normal island. You've got this ship in the water. And if I kind of keep going down, you'll see more of the octopus, a fish, some bubbles. Just absolutely gorgeous. And then as you kind of come up the bottom you get some more um, of that under underground rock kind of thing so here she is what lies beneath um, but here she is I just I loved how on the top of the surface the water just for the most part looks calm other than the tentacle coming up and lifting the boat up um, this big, large octopus is obviously the focus um, of the piece. And then the down at the bottom, the colors of those rocks with that purple in there. Like, just, just some stunning colors in this, too. And then, of course, I've always been a sucker for blue. <laughs> Lots of g gorgeous shades of blue in this painting as well. There are five ABs in this canvas, and I just thought I'd go along and kind of spot whatever ones I see and point them out. Um, right away, I'm seeing a bunch of number fives kind of up here where you see the um, little dots scattered, kind of like a water spray. Um, those are all the number five, which are the white AB. Um, and then there's a couple kind of in the water line here at the top, a little bit there, kind of along the top of the water there's a bunch, there's a little section there, a large section there, another large section there, and there, and there. They're also kind of in these little bubbles along the edges and up along the edge of the tentacles a bit. And along the octopus in a couple of places, um, on this fish um, as well, kind of like these little spiky things. There's a couple kind of trailing along as well. All of those are the number five, and that kind of continues down towards the bottom. Um, I'll 
just kind of fold it up this way and then you kind of still see them scattered a little bit. It's a little less, um, but kind of still where the bubbles are, you get some of that for sure. And then the other one is the number two, which I saw a couple of those up in the ship here in the, um, the fabric of the ship there. And then a couple kind of in the water, in a couple of spots, kind of a little trail there, a little trail there, another little trail there. So kind of, once again, a lot where the water is. There's a nice big section of it right here. Another kind of section of it here and here. It's kind of where those lighter um, turquoise teal color is. Let um, me get a little bit again, kind of in the octopus here and there. And in the bubbles a little bit. It comes down here where the rock is a tiny bit. And then... I'm not seeing much towards the bottom again, except for the odd one scattered in the octopus kind of here. And again, where the the bubbles are, there's a couple of twos in there. And then that gives us number three, which is green. So I'm, that will be kind of along this rock here where the top is. The lighter green area is there. And I think that's about the only real kind of green green. Yeah, that's the only real green green area. And then the other one is number four, which I haven't passed any of that, but that should be um, like another kind of bluey color here. Which, where are you hiding? Oh, I see it. You've got some here in this little rock in little kind of patches and spots and it's kind of in there it comes down a little bit where this rock is underwater so pretty much where the rock goes underwater by the looks of it on both of these oops sorry i bumped my light there um kind of where the rock goes under the water there's a little bit of each and Oh, there is a couple towards the bottom where this octopus is. There's a few little fours kind of scattered in there a bit. But that's about it for the fours, which leaves us with number one, which is purple. And that should be somewhere, because this is where most of the purple is, it seems. Yeah, so there's a couple where it kind of outlines uh, the rocks over. Oh, I'm pointing off camera, of course. There's a couple kind of along here, um, along this kind of rock there that highlights the edges and same with this rock here, it kind of highlights a bit of it. Um, so that kind of seems to be where the ones are scattered. Um, so yeah, pretty much you have at least one of those ABs in most kind of places where it's lighter on the canvas. Some of the darker areas like over on this side of the canvas, there's not a whole bunch. You got the odd like two or five kind of scattered, but not like most of it kind of seems to be highlighting where the light would be hitting the octopus and kind of on the bubbles and a little bit on the rock edges and then of course up here there's a bunch kind of above land being the water spray and the uh, grass line and the ship and all that so I think that'll turn out looking quite gorgeous um, I was super excited for this canvas when it came back in stock and I managed to uh, snag a, a kit for myself so yeah, have, I hope you enjoyed this unboxing and sharing of this canvas. And this is one that I can't, can't wait to kit up when I get to it. 
Um, and of course, once I do, it'll become post review and you'll see it. I have quite a few canvases. I'll slowly work through them as I get time. But yeah, I hope you have a great day. Bye.